Jessica Joe, welcome back to a brand new episode of Reaction Once Again, back with Bleach. Thousand year blood with the dub. And I'm actually doing it on a Friday, and it's up little Friday. You can tell by the time of the day behind me, it is still daytime. Of course, like always, I am rocking the pants. Y'all know what this episode is. Miyakia asking Ichigo to protect the Soul Society. Ichigo going off on Yuha Bomb. Or Yuha, you watch whatever the fuck you pronounce his name. This this was probably my most anticipated episode so far for the ones we've gotten with the dub so far. This was probably my most anticipated episode with the dub cast. There's one more scene that I'm like, well, besides obviously the scene with like, I am number one so to create horror. Here then that, that's me point to see what they got for the dub. That episode was great as well, just with the whole you know, with the whole stuff with um uh, Unahana and Kapachi, but there's one scene, and I'm pretty sure this is with everything but the rain, that I think we might see either in the, that'll probably be during, in the, like, one hour special in the last two episodes. So, that's, like, the only other scene, the probably with the other, the only other scene that I'm, like, the most anticipated here with the dub, just because I've seen the manga panel for it for so long, and I can't wait to hear JYD say it, if it is gonna be in, if it's gonna be in this, in this, uh, core or not. I don't know if it is or not, because I haven't read the manga. <laughs> I just know, I, I just know a few parts of it. So, that's the other scene that I'm super excited to see with the dubcast. But yeah, besides the next one we got so far, this has been my most anticipated episode. So, let's see what we got, man. JYB, let's go. Alright, let's get started. Let's get into it, boys. Let us get into it. Alright. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I'm so fucking happy with this episode, man. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hey, don't we also see the uh, original Gote 13 in this as well? I completely forgot about that. Yeah, we see yeah, the OG Gote 13. I completely forgot about this. I was so pissed. I was like, oh, we're going to see each other. We're going to see the scene. It's going to be when we can buy Apia tells us to protect the Soul Society. I completely forgot about the Gote 13. I can't wait for the full OST of this to drop, man. The, the Blood War OST is the god. Rukia? We're not Rukia, we're Ruka. I do hope we. I, I, I do want to blend up seeing more of the Gote 13 and the uh, Hellhost and the Hellon. Whenever Kuma gets back to writing that. Man, just stepping over everybody's corpses, bro. Yamamoto don't give a fuck about these quinces. He's only eight years on a high time. He's slaying you. to see more of the Gote 13, original Gote 13 in the uh, Hell on. And that's when I already just see more. That would be cool. Or BBS. We might see, we could, there's like about a year's worth of con just from then that BBS could get out of. That's well. Oh, no, 
I am not the one to talk to people. No lie, bro. Young Yao Moto looks like a straight up looks like a Tekken character. <laughs> Seriously, bro. He says it looks like a Tekken character. Bro, Yamamoto's face. It says it all, bro. R.I.P. Yamamoto, man. Man died on his fucking feet! Only the truest of badasses die on their feet. Man ain't fucking done yet. Society will perish today. The 13 court guard squad you founded died along with us a thousand years ago. Notify every member of 
the still litter. It's time for us to finish what we came here to do. Tell them to show no mercy. Crush the Soul Society. <laughs> What is that? The So that advance. They're just a bunch of Quincy Cruts. <laughs> we can take these guys. <laughs> yeah, sure you can. Sooner, but we ran into a few minor complications on the way. Better late than never, though, right? Uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm Shaz Domino, the third reader, and by the power of keeping your knees. You need to get just one shot of Shinji. Let's go! You feel better? Yes. 
must be Ichigo Kurosaki. Shall I go and hurt him? Not now. Let us be armed. <laughs> My boy ain't playing no more. Yakuya was originally gonna die, but the fan girls had a Are you the bastard responsible for destroying the Soul Society or not? I am indeed. Your Majesty, as you can see, Ashford, he leaves us no choice. For us to ever get out of here, he must first die. <laughs> Immobilized but alive. Bring him to the castle. Once he's revived, I will put him to use in my service. Yes, Your Majesty. Is that no impossible? Don't they know? Talk your shit, my goat! So it's true. I wasn't imagining it. What are you talking about? It seems I might have made an error in judgment when I ordered Kilge Ope to imprison you. I should have used an alarm car to keep you at bay instead of a true born Quincy. Because of that mistake, the memories lying dormant within your spiritual pressure have awakened too soon. I assume you must have exerted vast amounts of spiritual pressure in your efforts to break free from Kilgay's jail. 
The shards of spiritual pressure dispersed by your efforts must have mixed with some of Kilgay's own spiritual pressure as they returned to your body. His Quincy spiritual pressure slowly seeped into the depths of your soul, drawing forth memories from the core of your spiritual pressure and awakening your dormant powers. Kilgay's jail was designed to restrain the enemies of Quincy's. It was never meant to hold actual Quincy's like us. Why? What are you saying? What's all this about memories and Quincy's? Not following. I see. You really don't know the first thing about yourself, do you, boy? Not even about your own mother. <laughs> My original plan was to take you back with me and gradually re-educate you. Hold on. But I can see how the way things are going, and I no longer have that luxury. What are you saying? I see I shall have to use more forceful means of persuasion. Okay. You just tell me what the hell you're talking about! I'll tell you that is a bond in the right. <laughs> Music is so good. Shout outs to Eisen, man. We reached the limit of our time outside the Shaggy Barak. We must go back. It's too soon. We should still have time. Yeah. Of course. So skilled. Eisen. This is one of his tricks. I thought I only spent a few minutes in that dungeon, but he must have played with my sense of time. You knew this, didn't you, Hushfault? But you kept quiet about it. Would my worry be would have made a difference? <laughs> well, no matter. Let us go. Bye, man, Viet. What? My time is up. I have to be going now. You can't hear me. Why am I even talking to you? Is that Stephanie? That sounds like Stephanie. Or she's also voicing one of the Quincy's in Lama Gorda Hime. It does sound like a voice. You're not going anywhere. After what you did to the Soul Society, there's no way I'm letting you leave here. I said stop, you bastard! Alright, peace on get soon. And number one is a fucking creator. I will come back for you. Until then, heal your wounds and wait. My son, born in the dark. <sighs> All right, the special EV, I forgot about that. Fantastic work, man. Viz did an amazing job with this. My goats! Uh, Biakia was incredible. JYB, of course. God! Yeah. 
Honda. Yeah, Honda. Yamamoto's in the light. Yo, I never noticed that. Is that soy food? That is the end of the episode, man. The dub did not disappoint this week. Like, listen, I know I've given Vince shit for all the recasts and everything, man, which I think is fair. It's kind of annoying, but I don't know. There could be other behind the scenes with some of those characters. Like, we already knew about Vic and, you know, um, Udahara at WA, but of course there was a thing with, like, Kenpachi and everything. But whatever the case may be, man, this episode was fucking incredible, man. JYB, I don't know who voices Biapia. I should probably check to know. But both of them were incredible, man. This is like my most anticipated episode for the Dubcast, and they, and, they, and they knocked out the park, man. Phenomenal work from them, man. And yeah, can't wait. Cannot wait for that other scene from Everything But the Rain. If that's actually in Everything But the Rain, that will be like episode 13 or something or whatever. But yeah, I'm super excited for that one. That's like the next moment that I'm like really excited to hear JYP do, man. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on my social media if you like it. Links down the box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.